2020 was one of the deadliest hurricane seasons on record for the Atlantic Basin. This season broke many long-standing records. This included the most named storms with 30 and the most number of U.S. landfalls with 11. I was able to experience and document two of these storms. This is Hurricanes of 2020, my experiences. August the 20th, 2020, a tropical depression first formed out in the Atlantic Ocean, east of the Lesser Antilles Islands. This depression would then track west because of a strong subtropical ridge. A day later, the storm would reach tropical storm status and become tropical storm Laura. While strengthening slowly, Laura moved just south of the Greater Antilles Islands. Just shortly after moving into the southeastern Gulf of Mexico, tropical storm Laura became Hurricane Laura on August the 25th, 2020. Laura was in a highly conductive atmosphere. Hurricane Laura then began a period of rapid intensification and started to move northwest as it reached the western extent of the mid-level ridge. While nearing the Louisiana coast, Laura reached its maximum intensity as a cat 4 with 150 mph winds. This intensity would hold and Laura would make landfall south of Lake Charles, Louisiana on August 27, 2020. Before this point, I have never chased or intercepted any hurricane before, so I did not make the move to go around Lake Charles like most chasers did. Instead, I stayed in North Louisiana, where I was living at the time. At first, I was in Monroe, Louisiana, but seeing that the center of the hurricane was going well west of me, I decided to make the drive to Ruston, Louisiana. Very intense wind.
there goes the roof. Oh my gosh. The roof just came off over there. The roof just came off. After the strong outer bands, which already caused a good bit of damage, the eye wall then came through, which is the strongest part of a hurricane. getting in that eye wall. My area, winds gusted 60 to 70 miles per hour and caused extensive tree damage and minimal structure damage. What was crazy is that Laura remained a hurricane all the way up to where I was at, which is 200 miles inland. This happened because of the speed of the hurricane, its size, and how it strengthened all the way up to landfall. Laura will be remembered 
for the catastrophic damage it caused down south near Lake Charles and the extensive swath of damaging winds that extended well inland. Many residents in North Louisiana said this was the worst and strongest hurricane they have ever been through.